And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 233 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bazooka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for you. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, well, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up. Keeping busy, being very accurate. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl from DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. Fast leg kick. 
Just over three minutes to go. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Beautiful punch. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows up to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. I mean, he's cutting him down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, big head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Blocks the shot. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Oh, that right hand is on point. Try to establish that jab. Nice punch lands over the top. <laughs> 20 seconds now remain in the round. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, DC, second round is getting right. underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily. Get some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Great punch. There's that head kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Nice head kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. 
Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Big body kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice defense there, huge block. Next kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Blocks the shot. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Right hand upstairs. Oh, nice. And just misses with that big right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. That was a thudding leg kick. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Oh, he's got a reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. All right, single collar tie now. Counter jab, snaps the head back. That'll get his attention. Oh, nice, nice right hand. That strike blocked by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. Straight right. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Sneaky head kick. Rips the body there for good measure. Unable to land with that punch. Nice head kick. Tags him with the left. And that's the end of round number two. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Huh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he just carried his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, big punch man. Oh, nice right hand, John. And both guys really throwing with authority. Thank you. Keeps 
going back to that jab. Keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice right hand. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Block there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big power shot there. Just over three minutes to go now. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. Kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. It's a good right hand right there. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really Overwhelming his opponent with activity. Ooh, what a punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Right hand on point. Goes to the body there. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice leg kick land. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. You better get that elbow down or you're gonna keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instance. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly 
with their legs and have that level of success. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of... The fight thus far, how's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just a split there. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, effective strike there by the way. Right hand upstairs. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, what a head kick. Punch over the top. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. that left hand. Leg kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big elbow. Really working over that lead leg with those beautiful leg kicks. Good stick. Oh, Superman punch! You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And a nice job at least staying upright on, on that. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And now he's got that tight hand. Big head kick land. What a punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. 90 seconds. See, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, big left. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Just out of range with the straight left hand. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There's a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes. Near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Nice straight punch. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination. Oh! He was hurt. Throws him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, the round is 
over, gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Last round, guys, you ready? You ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Just misses with a left hook there. Big punch land the middle. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Well, it didn't take Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. He lands a big knee to the body. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, these are some impactful knees he is throwing, and I guess until his opponent adjusts, might as well keep throwing them. He's gonna keep going to the well. Why would he change it? His opponent has not been able to figure out these knees. Swift's on the elbow. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looks like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeted it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much, he's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, he lands the Superman punch, how about it? Counters with the left hook, nicely done there. Effective punch there by Lee. He's very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. Head kick lands. Oh, nice. His opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Speed Street right now. He's seeing the Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, seven seconds of round number five. We're going the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.